All right, so let's go ahead and create that fact page. The first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna rename this. It's kind of not very user friendly. We'll just call this desktop. And then we're gonna hit Control C and then Control V. So it automatically just duplicate everything and stick it over here to the right. And so for our fact page, we're not going to have a hero section, which is pretty standardized when, you're coming, when it concerns web design at least. Um, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. We're gonna leave these two blips right here, but get rid of this call to action and then get rid of everything here. Uh, we're also going to ungroup the grid and then get rid of these two things right there. We're actually going to use this right here as uh, kind of a question and answer containers. But first let's focus on this top part up here. So we're gonna move this up just slightly and we're going to put in FAC. And then for our lorem ipsum text, we're gonna leave it there, but we're gonna make sure this extends out to the very right side. Simple enough. Now let's take uh, this, we don't need a this text right here. Right click, by the way, if you had it grouped and hit ungroup. All right, and now what we'll do here is pose a question at the top and then in the bottom in a smaller paragraph font, we'll have an answer. So I will go ahead real quickly and just type in, will this allow me to do that other thing? All right. Cool. We'll take that. Control D this time. The whole Control C, Control F was getting a little bit annoying, admittedly. And we're going to take this down. Let's take a look at our size. I think the size of this text over here is 33. So we'll keep things consistent. I'm going to put 33. Um, I'm not even really happy with the difference between these two because there's not much of a noticeable difference. So you can, you know, kind of, again, this is called visual hierarchy in design. Uh, you can reinforce that through color, through making this bold, um, or making it larger. And I think that's the direction I'm going to take it. So something like this large. And then we'll take this text down here beneath it. And I'm going to copy and paste. Again, you can use lorem ipsum. That's probably the standard thing that you should do. But I had some other stuff I had off screen, so I'm just gonna use that. We're going to leave that there. Again, you want a good space between all your elements. So I'm just moving them around with my keyboard. Uh, let's see here. All right, that looks pretty good in my opinion. All right, so once you're satisfied with everything, we can go ahead and take everything, repeat grid, get it all the way out to the very edge. Well, actually just to the very right over here and then extend these as needed. And again, this is a, it would help at this point to get up our, our grid real quickly just to see. And so right there is perfect. All right, so we'll hide our grid and we'll pull this down. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll make it go uh, three right there. We'll take everything right here, holding shift, drag it down somewhere over here. We're gonna take this and increase the height so we'll drag this up, keep on dragging up, drag it up more. Right there is perfect. And also notice the spacing vertically doesn't match this here. So we'll just drag that down a bit. What are these 43 and this is 40. trying to get it to match up a 43. 45 is fine, there we go. All right, and that is our fact page. Very cool. All right, so let me hide this real quick. So this is our 
um, are, are designed so far at this point. So in the next section, what we're going to do is also add a mobile version. But you know what, real quickly before we do that, let's hop into the prototype tab and let's I uh, get some of these, like an actual interactive prototype working. So when somebody clicks on this link right here, this FAC link, you can see a little blue thing. We just drag it over anywhere over onto this artboard and it gives you options by the way uh, for a target, your transition type, and also your easing options and a duration animation. I'm just gonna leave them here by default. I'm not really too worried about that. Um, also, if we click on the logo, we'll make it go back to the home page. Same thing with if they click on home. Fact doesn't go anywhere. Nothing really goes anywhere else apart from that. So now uh, it doesn't really matter which tab. If we click on play, Sorry about that, it made it real large, so I had to pause and fix it, and I here we go. So you can see the viewport right down there at the edge. So it makes it scroll like an actual web page or an app of some sort. We click on FAC, and there we go. Looks a little redundant with the same content, but uh, you can adjust those manually if you wish. All right, so like I said, in the next section, we're gonna go ahead and create a mobile version of this layout to see how the layout should respond when we're using Bulma uh, in the grid system.